In today's video, I'm going to give you a complete beginner's guide to click sense. If you find this video useful, please consider liking and subscribing and let's get right into the video. First of all, what you want to do is head over to their website, which is qlik.com. Now, once you get here, you're going to be able to go to the click sense uh, section and you're going to be able to try it for free. So just go here to where it says try for free and you can go ahead, just put in some details and it's going to activate your trial. So once you go ahead and you do your email confirmation, you'll be sent here to set a password. Go ahead and set one. And we're now ready to go through their onboarding. Just answer as honestly as you can. It's gonna ask for your region. Um, and then you can go ahead and start getting set up. So now that we're inside, it's gonna ask us for our goals. Just go ahead, answer these. This will help to tailor the platform for you. Um, I'm just gonna answer them randomly. And here we go. Cool, so we can start off now by starting some data. So we can either upload a data set or we can uh, establish a data connection. If you want to go for the uh, data set route, you can go ahead and upload a file. Um, if not, you can do the connection side here, which allows us to integrate with some of these different uh, softwares. So depending on which one you use, there's a lot of integrations here. So the chances are you're probably gonna be able to connect up with them. Um, let's say that you use something, uh, I don't know, let's just, if you use one of these, just go ahead and click on it. Let's say you want to use uh, GA4 or Google Analytics. Go ahead, click there. You can um, authenticate it. So you click on here, it's going to take you to Google and you're going to go ahead, connect it all up, verify it, and that's going to be your data into here. So once we've done that, the thing they recommend to do next is to go ahead and invite a user. You don't have to do this, but if you have any team members, you can go ahead, add their email in there, press invite, and that's going to go ahead and invite them to your uh, dashboard, I guess you could say. Now from here, you can go ahead and read all these resources. There's a lot of different guide bits here. Um, and I'd recommend going over to the home section here. And you can just get familiar with all of the different sections down here. Now what you can do is you can add widgets. And it allows you to add different widgets um, which you find useful. So you've got things like my apps, my automations. Um, my content, my data, my links, my notes, my scripts, all of these you can go ahead and add these in and now once you connect all of these up it's going to show them here so you can just simply get them. So if we go over here to create we can actually uh, create a lot of different things here. As you can see before it's kind of related to the widgets, you can create apps, um, automation, connection data, scripts. So let's say we want to go ahead and we want to start off with an analytics app, we can go ahead and name it, I'll just call it test, I can go ahead and create it. And now this is going to go ahead and open up our analytics app. It might take a few seconds to load when it starts up as it's kind of generating it. Uh, but give it a few seconds and you should be loaded in. So from here we can go ahead and we can select a bit about it. So where do we want to get the data from? We can get data catalog, files and other sources or data load editor. I'm going to go ahead and select this one here. And depending on what you pick it will change how you go ahead and add the data to it. Now we also got our automations here, which we can take a look at too. Creating automations is pretty easy. Uh, they have a lot of templates here. So generally, if you're trying to do something, there's a chance they've already got this here. And there's, you know, there's a lot of different um, options here. Uh, you know, let's say you want to reload an app and notify your team on Slack. We can use this template here. Um, for some reason there's an error. I think it's because I haven't integrated Slack yet. Uh, what we could do first is we could go ahead and connect up our Slack. But you can basically use all of these. They have the details about what it does, and the builder is pretty easy to use. We can also start with a blank one. The blank automation here, we can just put a test name in. We can save it. Um, then we can go into it. But that, you need to upgrade it. But the automation workflow is very simple to go ahead and use. As you can see before, it's just drop, drop and, uh, drag and drop, and you've got all of the uh, different logic and the triggers, that kind of thing. So it's really simple. Um, data connection, again, we can just connect up with data. We looked at this earlier. And then we have scripts, so things like um, exporting data, uh, all that kind of stuff we can put into here. Down here, they have a load more different things you can create, like um, glossary, uh, links, notes, scripts, we've got spaces. We have uh, data connection, data sets, upload and upload glossary. So um, if we look at this, for example, we can go ahead and create some links just like that. And now if we go back to our home dashboard, you can see that any of the apps and stuff that we've created, we can simply go ahead, it should show up here, and we can now go ahead and open them. 
um, and start using them. So it's pretty simple to go ahead and kind of set it all up here. Now what we can do from here as well, if we go over here, we can go to administration and we have all of these different administration settings. So from the start, you know, we can add users. We've looked at this already. We can do stuff like spaces. We can create our spaces here. Um, here we go. So we can create a new one. We can put a name to it. We can add people to it, that kind of thing. We can do alerts. So we can create and enable alerts based upon different bits of data in apps. Our subscriptions here. Um, events, we can go ahead and you've got all different events in here. So this is basically what you've done. So if you want to go down here and you want to see what it was, you can do that. Um, and you can even go ahead and you can copy this to clipboard if you need to do that for some reason. We have our content down here. So this is again is all of our apps and scripts. It's a bit more of a um, different sort of view, I guess you could say. And then we have our themes. So we can add a new theme. Uh, you can put upload the theme into there like that. Now down here we have other things like our API keys. We can generate these if we want to uh, build integrations with this onto other apps and vice versa. It's pretty useful. And then we also have stuff like our OAuth. So if we're trying to um, connect up to specific apps, we can create one here. And um, you can go ahead, select the type it is. So let's say a single page. We can go ahead and we can create all of this information here um, so that we can use those for authentication essentially. Then we also have our web and we have our webhooks too. If you want to create some webhooks based upon the stuff you're doing in here and send it to something you know like your Slack uh, or something similar to that. And then lastly, if we come down into settings here, we're able to go ahead and connect up an email provider for email notifications. So we can either do SMTP or Microsoft 365. Um, this would basically mean we can set up the emails so that they work properly. But in the settings, there are a lot of different options like that. Now, one more thing worth looking at is the uh, different plans here. So if you go to the top and activate it, um, you can go ahead and you can purchase a plan. So you can purchase it here. As I said, they do give you a 30 day free trial, but if you're ready to go for it or you need like more automation or something, you can go ahead and upgrade it. The upgrade price here is, um, well, this one here is $31 a month per user. And this one here, you've got um, $72 a month for a professional and you've got 41 for an analyzer. So you can go ahead and check out the plans here, compare which one you need, or if you need a little bit um, more, you can go ahead, contact sales, and they can actually provide a plan for you which is tailored to your specific needs. But really that's a very simple, quick overview of the platform. Um, if you found it useful, be sure to go down below and like and subscribe. Uh, comment down below that helped you out. And also let me know if there's any other videos you would like me to make about any other software. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.